So when buying a car, in this case a 987, there's a lot of things that you're going to need to consider. There's the actual cost of the car, there's the maintenance, how you're going to use it, is it going to be a weekend car, is it going to be your daily, and then there's the subject of mileage. How often are you going to use it? For the time being, I have been using my car as a daily, which I feel I've been putting on some pretty good miles of around 800 to 1,000 per month. I think that is quite heavy usage for a 987. But today, we're going to be meeting up with Martin, who you will recognise from some videos, because he runs a Porsche Cub called Tribal. So we're going to be meeting up with him and having a chat about his 987, which in the 18 months that he's used it, he's done 41,000 miles, giving it potentially what I think the title of the most used in the country, or maybe even the world. If you think you can beat that, drop your mileage down in the comments below. But we're gonna go for a drive, meet up with Martin, and find out what this car's all about, and can you actually put miles like that on a classic 987. Let's go. But here it is, the car in question. So, we started off with the exterior colour and it's the slate grey, which I've been told from factory was sort of their um, premium metallic, which you can really see in the sun there. Now that was, I think a two and a half grand extra, but something that really updates the car. It's got the Gen 2 wheels, so these are off a 987 dot two. So after 2009, which, when I first saw this car, I thought it was a second generation, but it's got slightly different headlights. But on the exterior as well, we've got the lights towards the back have just a slightly smoked, which I think that makes it look really clean, nice and modern. You wouldn't really know, especially with the number plate, you wouldn't know how old this car is. One thing which it does have is the sports exhaust from Porsche, which having been out in this car, that's definitely something I'm going to be doing because it's so much nicer than these aftermarket sort of drony ones. So coming on to the inside, we've got a full stone grey interior, which I think was another two and a half grand. And you can see just there the high mileage of we're just about to go on to 104,000 miles. In here, we've got the PCCM Plus. So this is the one from Porsche. I know there's a lot of fuss about the AliExpress one, but this is absolutely seamless. It really updates the car, especially if you're going to be doing these kind of miles. You want phone, music, maps, all of that. Bose sound system, similar to mine. I think that is a must on a 987. When you're cruising down the motorway and not listening to the engine, really enjoy some good quality music in here. And another thing that you can spec from factory, but this has actually been retrofitted, which is something that I might do to mine, are these red seat belts. I think they're really nice. Just add an extra pop, and with it being an S, you'll have the red calipers to match. So let's go and get in the car with Martin, go for a drive, see what this car's all about. So yeah, you're obviously well accustomed with sort of the world of Porsche. Uh, you've had quite a few. Yeah, I, I got my first Porsche 2001. Um, present to myself, really. Um, a friend of mine, I took him for a test drive in a brand new Boxster back in, what, 97, 98, 98, 2.5. Okay, him for a test so the original drive. one, yeah. Yeah, with a friend of mine, an old school friend. He used to run the sales operation at Guildford Porsche. And uh, it was a bit of a birthday treat, and he went out in it, and he came back, and he said, I've got to have one of these. And back then, it was an 18-month delivery period. And he paid his £1,000 deposit, and whilst the car was you know, due to come, I thought, I better have a little drive in one of these. I just got a Z3 1.9. 
yeah. after James Bond Goldeneye okay. um, had come out, and I thought I'll have one of those. So um, I, I got one of those, waited again 18 months for that. Um, so I'd ordered it a bit earlier. Anyway, I went for, went in the Boxster, and it just did things that the Z3 didn't do. I mean, we went round a roundabout uh, down in it was down in Ferndown. I went for a driving one, and it just blew my head off. And uh, I thought I've got to have one of these, so I ordered yeah. one brand new. Rainforest Green, it was a 986.1, mm -hmm. um, turbo twist alloys, some colour coded hoops and so on, absolutely brilliant car and um, my friend said, my schoolmate, he said, you know, look, uh, the point two's coming out, you need to get your order in and uh, I then ordered another one and each of these, these were company cars back then, so wow. um, I was doing 50,000 miles a year. Um, for business, pleasure, I think nothing of just bombing down to Cornwall or yeah. whatever in it, and uh, absolutely loved it. So, yeah, and it, it was a succession from there. You know, I had um, three nine eights, uh, three nine eight sixes, uh, had an anniversary nine eight six. Yeah. Then I got into nine eight seven. Um, had a nine eight seven RS sixty in the. Has it always been the mid engine seven. stuff? Yeah. 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 Um, I I just think that uh, Boxsters are. For my lifestyle and my travelling and mm -hmm. the mileage I do, absolutely brilliant cars. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you've you've always covered high miles in Porsches that you've had. Yeah, I've covered high mileage in all cars really I've ever had. I, I've never had garage queens. And I, they tend to take it well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I look after my car. They're always serviced. They're always kept immaculate and clean. Mm -hmm. um, I look after them and I keep on top of all the niggles and service work that's required and I find they look after me you know but I, I don't think anything of buying a car and putting 20 30 40 thousand miles on it it's, yeah. um, it's, it's not a problem um, and, and it's rewarding and enjoyable you yeah know? And, and you get to know the car I, I'd probably say with Boxsters I was I was working it out the other day and I reckon I've probably done a good 700,000 miles minimum wow. in 986, 987. I have just bought the 718 25th anniversary. And oh, they're very nice. Yeah, so that's the 4 litre GTS. Yeah. It's a different animal um, to something like this, but um, but this is just so direct. I mean, I've just driven up to meet you today. I've done 100 miles from Hampshire to the Cotswolds, cross country roads, bit of motorway. It's a beautiful day and it's been a blast. And 300 brake horsepower. Yeah, for the legal limits of today, um, get this gets you into more than enough trouble. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so in in this car, you said you've done around forty one ish thousand miles. Yeah, yeah. Um, I bought this. I've I've got two nine eight sevens. Um, yeah. They're both two thousand and five. They're both the three point two engines, which. Uh, I only knew afterwards, but that's good for tax. They're, they're, mm. they're a much cheaper tax band. Yeah. So they're both manuals. Um, I bought one about four years ago, which is in... I bought it on the colour, really. California Azuro Blue, which is a Ferrari colour, with blue leather, blue hood. And I saw it advertised, and I just thought, I've got to have that. Yeah. Um, you know, I that's met, a very rare yeah, colour. Yeah, met the guy. I only know of two in that colour. Um, there's one in Holland and this one. And I, I bought it, and I bought it on spec, I bought it on condition, ownership, everything. And uh, I then saw this one pop up mm -hmm. about, uh, well, it was it was January last year, January, February last year, and it had only been on Auto Trader 20 minutes, and I phoned the guy, and he said, God, that's quick, I've just done the advert. <laughs> and uh, I said, yeah, I want to know a bit about your car. And lovely, lovely gentleman, and he knew nothing about the car. He right. bought it secondhand from Williams Crawford, who were a brilliant independent specialist in Cornwall. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said to him, you know, look, uh, asked him a couple of questions, and it had done then 58, 59,000 miles. And I said, look, I want your car. And uh, I said, let me pay a deposit, and I'll pick it up at the weekend. And in those in those forty thousand miles, have you been getting through consumables? Yeah, at, at yeah, of, yeah, quite a quick rate. Yeah. So uh, the car, this particular car, eighteen months ago, was up for thirteen thousand. 
Okay. Um, I negotiated it down to twelve two fifty, and that that's, that's fifty nine thousand miles, two owners, full service history, every every single invoice and so on. And um, I did say to him at the time, I said, look, you know, it's, it's fifty nine thousand miles, going to need a clutch soon. And, it, and his typical response, like many, is no, no, the clutch is fine. And all yeah. That. So um, I bought the car, and uh, I looked at the car while driving back. I stopped after half an hour and had a look around. I thought, bloody hell, this car is full of options. It's got uh, heated seats. It's got stainless steel kick plates. It's got rain sensor wipers. It's got dimming mirrors. It's yeah. just option, option, option. The colour was slate grey, which is an individual colour, which was, I believe, about two and a half thousand pound extra. And uh, so I got it back, drove it for a couple of weeks, took it to my specialist, which I'm not a mechanic. Um, I've got experience in paying for invoices, but I'm not a, <laughs> I'm not a mechanic. That's as far as it goes, yeah. yeah. I, I love cleaning cars, um, but I'm not a mechanic. So. Um, I took it in, got it thoroughly checked, and I went through a couple of the little things I wanted done, and it was given a clean bill of health, and then off we went on the adventures. Now, I, I, I live in Spain and the UK, so I'm, I'm zooming here, there, and everywhere, literally. I mean, I, I go to Breda, I go to Stuttgart, I go to Northern Spain, I'm just darting around everywhere, so. Um, so that's how you're doing your miles, and, uh, a lot of the miles that you're doing are with the, uh, the adventures of tribal. Well, this car in 18 months, is, I, I was thinking I've been to Breda, Holland three times. It's been to Stuttgart three times. Wow. It's been down to Valencia in Spain twice. It's been all around northern Spain, but it's also been over here doing all the adventures yeah. that we do. So, you know, Cotswolds, we came back from Cornwall last weekend. That was another 600 miles on her. Um, for the four day trip. Um, so I immediately put in the Porsche communication um, package with Portsmouth Porsche. Yeah. Um, that was £1,850, including them fitting it and including the SIM card, which I like for when I'm abroad in Spain yeah. um, and in Andorra, particularly. And um, I had service work done. It didn't, the, the previous owner had spent a fortune himself. Uh, he'd spent £3,000 in the year leading up to selling me the car. So, suspension, bits and bobs, whatever. He also put a new set of tyres on it, but they were cheap tyres. Yeah. Um, That's what I think you find with, with these cars coming down to that sort of lower price point. Yeah. People tend to buy them cheaply and then maintain them cheaply as well. Yeah, he. I mean, he'd, he'd thrown money at it, but the tyres... They were 500 quid, but they, they, I got in the car and I wasn't comfortable. Yeah. I could. I don't normally notice that sort of thing, but this, I knew these tyres needed to come yeah. off. So, um, so we put Porsche communication in, it had a full service, brakes, suspension, everything was all tip top. And, uh, you know, by him, um, I got some 0.987.2 turbo alloys, um, yeah. brand new tyres and off we went and uh, a couple you, you get a couple of little things after about five ten thousand miles there's you'll squeak here and there and you say yeah. right we need to replace some um, suspension arms or whatever um, the, the big one came I, I then the clutch started slipping and I thought oh, what am I going to do so I um, I looked around we had a local Porsche specialist um, based in La Rochelle and, uh, yep. and they did a new clutch flywheel um, absolutely brilliant garage 2,250 pounds so that was another expenditure yeah so it's about 10% of the value of the car which yeah you know, yeah which is they have similar running costs I mean as you were saying earlier to um, the 911 of the same yep. generation yeah the 997 it's the yeah. same, it's the same uh, you know so many parts are the same and if you're looking at a 987 if, if you saw your perfect car and it's got 75 80 thousand miles on it and he's got he or she's got no evidence of a clutch change that bill is coming when was it that you bought it 
uh, ja January last year. So you bought it on 60, and at the moment I can see you're on 103,000 miles. Yeah. So 104 actually. We'll, 104. We'll be doing We're about to tick over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of. Fuel. So yeah, there's a lot of people that sort of treat these as uh, garage queens, hide them up as a weekend, weekend car. Weekend yeah. car. Um, yeah, it's my daily. I. I but love, yeah, they can take it. Yeah, when I'm in Europe, I've got two boots, more than big enough. Um, you know, it's practical. Um, because of my mileage, I'm not following the 20,000 miles yeah. or two year period. Uh, I, I, I I want the car to be running well, so I like to, you know, over service it really. And, and I like the car just checked over. If I'm gonna go over to France again next week, mm -hmm. I don't wanna be in a lay-by with a problem. So, exactly. so we've got a great um, club called Tribal and um, we do, a lot of events, we do coffee meets, we do um, drives, so we're doing today a drive in the Cotswolds with 30, 40 Porsches and driving all around for the day and having lunch. And um, we partner up with various people, so we've got a brilliant specialist in Porsche uh, called George Edward, and uh, they're Porsche trained, and they look after my Porsches, and as soon as you start having a list of jobs to do, um, you know, you, you're always going to have a list, you know, so, yeah. But yeah, that's great. So I think um, we're going to head back to the motorist and then crack on with the uh, adventure around the Cotswolds today. With yeah. the day, yeah. It's going to be a great day. So. But yeah, well, thanks for coming on. and um, Thank you, Will. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. Cheers. So it, it is the evening now. I've just realised that I hadn't filmed an outro for that video. So a uh, great thanks to Martin for having me and showing me his 987. It's is kept to the highest standard um, so hopefully I aspire to bring mine up to that level. Um, it was great to meet with the guys from Tribal, um, had a great day out, uh, I'm going to put their Instagram in the description below. Um, hope I'm always at the ones around the Cotswold area so hopefully I'll see you there and um, I'll see you in the next video.